explore the peace and quiet found in the top 10 most serene nations on earth. These countries, which range from the magnificent scenery of Iceland to the hospitable people of New Zealand, provide a well-balanced combination of security, stability, and wealth. All of the nations on our list are excellent at giving its citizens a tranquil atmosphere, whether you're looking for the energetic culture of Ireland, the efficiency of Denmark, or the breathtaking scenery of Switzerland. Accept the safety and tranquility that characterize these countries, where a strong government, low homicide rates, and a dedication to peacebuilding provide the perfect environment for a happy existence. Discover the wonders of these tranquil havens and the real meaning of harmonious life. In today's video, we will talk about the top 10 most peaceful countries in the world to live. Number 10. Switzerland. Switzerland have a very high level of social safety and security, as well as a low level of persistent internal political unrest or external conflict. But surprisingly, high levels of militarization, roughly 150,000 active and reserve army personnel out of 8.7 million people, prevent this country from breaking into the top five. Switzerland is one of the top exporters of firearms worldwide per capita, right up there with other highly regarded peaceful countries like Singapore, Canada, Norway, and the Netherlands. Switzerland is, by most accounts, a peaceful, rich nation that values linguistic and religious diversity. However, there is still work to be done in the area of gender equality, since women's earnings are still around one-fifth those of men's. A worse situation than it was in 2000. Ranking higher than the average of OECD countries in terms of subjective well-being, income, health and education, and environmental quality, it comes in at number four on the UN Happiness Report. Number nine, Japan. Japan has 12 times the population density of the United States and three times that of Europe. Nevertheless, it maintains a high ranking in terms of both tranquility and quality of life. According to the National Police Agency, theft and other offences are out of style. The number of crimes reported has been steadily declining to historically low levels over the past few years. This trend is also mirrored in Japan's low incarceration rate, which has been declining since the 1950s. However, the Japanese frequently express alarm about the escalating tensions with North Korea and China when it comes to relations with neighboring countries. Japan's peace constitution, which forbade the resuscitation of aggressive militarism after World War II, was redefined in 2014 to allow for collective self-defense, which came before the nation's military capabilities were reorganized and strengthened. Japan's low scores in the areas of international conflict and per capita military spending maintain it much below the top spots in the peace ranking. Number 8. Slovenia. According to a tale, Slovenians were disregarded when God divided the country among all the nations since they numbered just 2.1 million. He offered them a small portion of paradise that he had kept for himself as an act of apology. With half of its land covered in woods, Slovenia has some of the highest biodiversity levels on the continent. You can drive from the capital, Ljubljana, to the Julian Alps or bathe in the Adriatic Sea in about one hour. It is the most tranquil nation in the CEE region and the only nation from Central Europe to rank among the top ten. Part of the reason Slovenia seems like a calm country is that it is located in the most tranquil region of the globe, which is Europe. Slovenia is the best-performing emerging European country, consistently ranking in the top 10 of the peace report. In addition to the Republic, Poland and Bulgaria are in the top 30, and Hungary and Croatia rank in the top 20. 13 of the 36 European countries on the list had increases in peace, while 23 saw decreases. Number 7. Portugal. Portugal follows its own rhythm when it comes to security and tranquility. This roughly 10 million person country has risen to the top of the Global Peace Index in recent years, moving up from its 18th place ranking in 2014 
to within the top 10. Portugal's overall quality of life makes it one of the best places for expatriates to live, with housing, work-life balance, personal security, and environmental quality all ranking higher than average compared to industrialized nations. Better yet, the Republic is still among the most reasonably priced travel destinations on the continent, so you don't have to break the bank to experience the Portuguese way of life. Number 6. Singapore Singapore has grown more tranquil despite the globe appearing to be getting more violent, according to the Global Peace Index report. Much more tranquil. Singapore held the 22nd position when the rating was first introduced in 2008. What caused this amazing leap? The IEP notes that significant increases in the ranking are typically based on a wide range of indicators, whereas significant declines in peace are typically caused by a small number of indicators. Therefore, despite Singapore's high scores for societal safety and security and low levels of continuing internal and international conflict, its level of militarization prevents it from ranking at the top, like Japan or Switzerland. Why does Singapore require such a large number of personnel for its military and police forces, and why does it spend so much on weapons? The wealth of the city-state is based on seaborne trade. Thus, it is essential to have the naval power to guarantee that ships pass through the Strait of Malacca, a narrow body of water that connects the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Number 5. Austria This small, landlocked nation of roughly 9 million people has shifted from its peripheral location at the border between East and West to closer to the center of a united Europe since the conclusion of the Cold War. Austria took great satisfaction in its efforts to cooperate with its neighbors in novel ways and to attempt to get along with opposing political blocs when it was a fledgling EU member outside of NATO. Even while Austria does well in many areas of well-being, including income, employment and housing, social tensions have been rising recently particularly due to the right-wing Freedom Party's FPO, well-known anti-immigrant efforts. Following an ISIS sympathizer's November 2020 shooting in Vienna's city centre that left four people dead and 23 injured, the government unveiled sweeping anti-terror measures, including the power to keep convicted individuals in prison for life and to make it easier for those who are released from prison to be monitored electronically. Consequently, the terrorism effect index worsened, leading to one of the biggest declines in peace in Europe in Austria. Furthermore, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the nation's capital has served as the epicenter of significant demonstrations against lockdowns and the government's decision to require inoculation against the virus for all of its residents. Number 4. New Zealand New Zealand dropped two points in this edition of the Global Peace Ranking, having occupied the top slot in the ranking since 2017. This serene nation, which received nearly flawless ratings in the areas of social safety and internal and international conflict, is well known for being a great place to live. Nonetheless, New Zealand's score declined by 6% in the militarization area as a result of an increase in the purchase and sale of weapons, as well as upgrades to armed personnel carriers. New Zealand, which is around the same size as the United Kingdom but has a population of about 5 million, is the most health-conscious country in the OECD and does better than average in terms of education, employment and income. All of this, however, comes at a price. 20% of New Zealanders believe that the wealth gap is the biggest economic problem facing the country, and the lack of affordable housing is making it harder for those with low salaries to own homes. Number 3. Ireland Among the world's richest, most advanced, and happiest countries is Ireland. It is also rather calm. Two years ago, it rose four spots to take the eighth place in the Global Peace Report, which was its highest ranking to date. Then, Ireland exceeded even its own expectations the previous year, surpassing many of its European counterparts and taking the third spot in the Peace Index, 
which is still where it stands this year. No mistake, decades of strained relations with the United Kingdom witness to the fact that Ireland did not suddenly become a peaceful country. As a result of its long-standing independence and neutral army, that is, the fact that it is not a part of NATO, the Irish Republic is currently consistently rated as one of the safest nations in the world. That does not mean that political and social unrest has stopped occurring there. Ireland witnessed its fair share of violent anti-lockdown protests during the epidemic, for instance. Ireland outperforms nearly every other nation in the world in terms of the economic cost of violence. With a ranking of 160th out of 163 countries, the cost represents only 3% of GDP, while the global average is 12.9%. The only countries that score marginally better in this area are Madagascar, Bangladesh, and Indonesia. Number 2. Denmark Denmark has consistently remained in fifth place on the Global Peace Index since 2008, sometimes moving up one or two spaces and other times falling. These very small fluctuations in the rankings only serve to highlight the kingdom's success. Denmark is a safe place to live and travel with a high level of political stability, press freedom and human rights respect. It consistently ranks among the happiest countries in the world and has a high degree of income equality. This country of less than 6 million people spends a lot of money to protect all that happiness and those high levels of living. In 2018, Denmark struck a historic agreement across political parties to raise its defense budget by 20% in order to combat the threat posed by Russia's increased military activity in Eastern and Northern Europe. This move put Denmark on track to match the expenditure levels of its Nordic neighbors, Norway and Sweden, and to meet the NATO membership target of 2% of national GDP for military spending. As a result, Denmark's performance in the militarization category, where it ranks at 16th in the world, hurts its overall standing in the peace index. That's probably not going to change anytime soon. Denmark just declared that it will spend the equivalent of $21 billion on defense over the next 10 years, plus an additional $3 billion on military aid to Ukraine through 2028. Number 1. Iceland. Icelanders have restful nights because they reside in the world's most tranquil country. When it comes to peaceful Iceland, no news is good news. Since the index inception in 2008, the country has maintained its top rank for 16 years running. Iceland has the smallest population of any NATO member state, about 365,000 people, no standing army, navy or air force, record low crime rates, an excellent welfare and education system, and is ranked among the best countries in the world for jobs, earnings and subjective well-being. Did we also claim that there are no dangers to the wonderful serenity enjoyed by Icelanders? Four persons were detained by the Reykjavik police in September in relation to plans for an alleged terrorist act. That was the first year that any terrorist action was reported to the government. This led to a 4% decline in Iceland's overall score, as well as a rise in the homicide rate in the nation. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing, so we can keep bringing more content like this. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time.